Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So, basically, I am stuck right now. <coughs> Car is not starting at all. And uh, I'm not quite sure what to do at this point. But I'm probably going to end up calling somebody that told me. Probably going to end up calling AAA. But here's the thing. Um, I went out to get something to eat. <clears throat> came, back to, came back to my car. Try to get it started. Ready to go home. And nothing happens except I get everything else that works. But nothing else happens. All right. Radio turned on without a problem. <sighs> Blow motor turned on. All the lights on the dash worked. But uh, nothing else seems to work. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I left something on. Because uh, I was out for maybe like 30, 45 minutes. But I don't think that's enough to actually cause anything to, um, <clears throat> to um, <clears throat> crap the battery out. But just to be sure, I uh, actually double-checked everything and um, everything was off. But um, I did turn on the headlights, went outside just to see if the beams were high. And the beams were, were good. Well, as far as I could tell, the beams were good. But I couldn't be 100% sure that it wasn't, you know, the battery. I was hoping it was the battery because I have a jump pack. But, uh, you know, there's no cranking at all. I didn't hear any kind of cranking. No, no soft crank, no slow crank, no nothing. So I'm like, okay, just to be sure, I'm going to use my jump pack that I bought about a month ago for these kind of situations. Hopefully it'll work. But before I did that, I noticed that my terminals were a bit dirty. Saw some corrosion on it. Um, took a wrench, took the terminals off. Clean it a little bit with some uh, Y brush. Put it back on. Jumped in my car, tried to start it, hoping that that was the reason why. Didn't start. Didn't start. So I'm like, okay, at that point, gotta use the jump pack. Put the jump back on. Turn it on. Try to start the car. Nothing at all. Nothing. Same thing. Everything works in the car except. Uh, I'm, I'm not getting kind of cranking. It's not cranking. It's silent. Well, not really silent. There's one click. One click. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, at this point, what could, else could it be? Could it be the alternator? No, not the alternator. Uh, and the test for the alternator is, um, you know, normally the alternator would, would your car would die out if uh, the battery was 100% dead and the alternator wasn't charging it. And uh, normally that would happen when when your 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 engine's running, <clears throat> like your car's running, you're idling, your car has to be on, the engine has to be on. Uh, but this wasn't the case. Anyway, uh, me putting the jump pack cable terminals, the cables onto my battery terminal. Um, if it was the alternator, the car would start up, and then after I took the cables off, the car would have died out because there would be nothing going to you know, there would be no electricity since the alternator would be dead. But that's not the case here. <coughs> So I'm like, okay, this is going to be probably like a bigger issue now because now, you know, next up, I got I got to check out the electronics of this car. All right, it could be a fuse, a relay. So right off the bat, I'm thinking maybe the relay took the, took the <clears throat> cover off the fuse box. I'm like checking, checking the, uh, to see what, where the starter relay is. I'm like, all right, found it. There's another, there's another relay in that fuse box that has pretty much the same, uh, what you call it, same wattage. It's the same. It's the same, It's a similar relay. So I pop that out, pop the re starter to the, re the the relay to the starter out, swapped it, hoping that was the case. Because if that was the case, I would just need to Uber to an auto zone and then and then get it. Guess what? Did it work? No, it did not work. Unfortunately, it did not work. And I didn't think it was the relay because I was hearing a click coming from... Oh, man, I'm tired. Uh, coming from the um, solenoid. I, heard, I hear a click. Every time I try to turn it on, I hear a click. All right? I hear a click. So, but um, this is not 
the first time I've had this situation. This is probably like the third time in about two months I had this situation. And uh, the previous situations, I was able to turn it on within like five or six different times. You know, the fifth or sixth time trying to turn it on, I was able to turn it on. But this time I tried like 15 times, nothing happened. So I don't think this is the case. I don't think that's the problem here. Unfortunately. So it's not the relay. Because I know, you know, once you hear that click, that's the solenoid on the, on the starter going off. Um, it's just the star motor is not, is not, you know, turned on. So let's, let's move on to the fuse. The fuse. Could it be the fuse? So I'm thinking to myself, I don't have a fuse tester. <clears throat> I could get a fuse tester, but I'm not going to do that. But didn't do that. So I'm like, <clears throat> the only two times I had a fuse issue where the car didn't start were this. All right, one time the main fuse broke, blown, blew. Main fuse blew. So I'm thinking to myself, the main fuse blew at the time. And uh, there was no electricity going to this car at all. Nothing turned on. There was nothing. No beeps, no lights, nothing. Swap out that fuse. The car turned back on. All the electricity turned back on. But unfortunately, <coughs> that's not this case. Because I am getting electricity into the car for everything except it's not starting. The second time I had a fuse issue was um, uh, there was a fuse to the fuse pump or the car's computer that blew. It would crank up, but it would not turn over. It would not start. It would crank. It would not turn over. So how about that fuse? Everything works. All right. But <clears throat> but um, unfortunately, that's not this case because I, everything turns on except this car is not cranking up. I mean, that's the main problem here, and it's not the fuses. As far as I can tell, it's not the fuses. So, what else could it be? <clears throat> Moving on to the starter. Now, I would have guessed the starter maybe like, you know, earlier as far as diagnosing is concerned. But I had the starter changed out um, about eight months ago. <clears throat> I had the starter on this car swapped out eight months ago. Went to AutoZone, um, bought a new, bought a re rebuilt starter. Now I had the same situation like this eight months ago. I mean, it wasn't like I was having this sporadically situation like before that. But it, you know, <clears throat> I woke up in the morning and uh, tried to start my car in the morning, and I, I had this issue. Had this issue, same issue. But today. I mean, eight months on a starter, you know, it's ridiculous. If, if it is the case, it's ridiculous. All right. <clears throat> um, I had a choice of getting a rebuilt starter, a brand new starter. The rebuilt starter was uh, 150 A brand new one was 300 Ended up getting a rebuilt starter. That's what I did. Remanufactured. Popped it in. Eight months go by and I'm having the same symptoms I'm not quite sure if it is the starter or not technically what I could do is I could go out and uh, try to bump the starter with a long crowbar see if that actually starts it up if you guys don't know how to do that um, if you guys can figure out where the starter is you guys take a long crowbar or something bump you know take a crack at the starter a couple of times Loosen whatever components is up on the starter, and then try to turn the car on. <clears throat> if, it, if it starts up, you know sometimes it does start up, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I'm not going to do that in this situation <clears throat> now because <clears throat> I don't have a crowbar long enough to do that. Um, so I could figure out where the starter is and then put a cable to the starter to the solenoid and then see if that actually cranks it up. Now, if that, if that actually cranks it up, then I know that the starter's okay. But um, I can't figure at this point to do that. I don't have a wire or... Um, I don't have a wire low setup where I could do that with certain things. So I can't do that right now. Unfortunately, that sucks. So what I'm going to do at this point, because... Um, I mean, I could ask somebody to help and jump my car, but I already have the power pack, and that power pack was like 
on a full level. I know these sometimes these power packs fail on you, but um, I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. I'm I'm pretty sure the power pack actually did its job, and it's just not cranking up, not because it's not getting not enough juice to it. I'm pretty sure at this point. I mean, haven't done too many tests so far, but at this point, from what I'm seeing right now, is probably the star that's the issue, and uh, I'm gonna call Triple A up. And hopefully they won't take too long to get to me to to uh, tow my car to my house so that I could do some more testing on it. Probably get a longer crowbar to take a whack at the starter. See if that actually starts the car up. But uh, I'll keep you guys. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, how's it going? Um. I had done a lot of tests on this issue. Um, I was, you know, it, AAA took about an hour and a half to get to me. It kind of sucks that I wasted time. But um, got it towed to my house. I was able to get a long crowbar, bumped the starter, and funny enough, it did start up. I turned it off, tried to turn it back on again, nothing. You know, took a whack at it a couple of times. It did start up, turn off, turn it back on, nothing. So at that point, I'm, I was pretty sure it was a starter. But just to be sure it wasn't a loose wire or something like that, I, I checked all the cables to it. They're good. So what I did next is I had taken um, a line a wire, I think it was like 12 gauge wire, or I think it was a 12 gauge wire, and um, I hooked it up to the battery. And what I did was I tried, I tried um, putting it onto the little terminal on the solenoid, see if it actually works, and uh, nothing, nothing. So at that point, I know I knew that the uh, the starter was malfunctioning on this car. I uh, spent a couple hours taking it out. It was still in the warranty. Took it to AutoZone, replaced it. I had the choice of getting a brand new starter, but um, I didn't want to spend three hundred dollars, so I ended up getting another rebuilt, refurbished starter. Popped it in, and it actually and it runs without a problem. Now, I had a, few, a couple words with AutoZone. I told them the situation. The star lasted eight months. Why did the starter only last eight months? I mean, considering, you know, starter should last over 100,000 miles, and I only put up maybe like 10,000 miles on this car over the last eight months, and um, I am really disappointed. It, You know, even though I got the starter, a replacement star for free, I think it's a lifetime warranty or whatever, yeah, that's not the the point because I you know time is money and I I must have uh, lost about six seven hours on this six seven hours on this which really 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 sucks but it is what it is um here's the thing with rebuilt stuff rebuilt starters you guys don't know anything about rebuilt starters you guys bought rebuilt starters just know that when they give you a rebuilt starter. When you buy a rebuilt starter or rebuilt alternator or anything that's rebuilt, they only fix the part that's broken. Like if, if the wire is the only part that's broken, that's the only part that they replace. Every other part that is on that starter, guess what? It has the same amount of mileage that was on your vehicle when you took the core into, um, into the shop to get your... Uh, $20, $25, $40 reimbursement for the core, unfortunately. I don't know why they don't rebuild everything on it. I don't even know how they clean the damn thing to the point where it looks like it's brand new. It doesn't matter. It kind of sucks that way. I am hoping that my starter, the star that I got as a replacement, a rebuilt one, will last me a lot longer than what I got out of this starter. All right. <coughs> um, I hope this has helped you guys out. 
um, as far as going through the steps of trying to figure out, um, you know, what would cause the car not to start. And uh, if you guys have any comments, please leave your comments. Um, also, please give me a thumbs up, guys. I really would appreciate it. And if you guys want to drop, if you guys want to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, I read all my comments. If you guys want to leave a comment, please, please, please leave a comment. Please leave a thumbs up. To even leave a thumbs down if you want. I really don't care as long as you guys, uh, you know, give me some kind of thumbs. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you guys want to leave a comment, leave a comment. And uh, I'm going in circles right now. But I'm glad this whole entire thing actually worked out as far as, you know, figuring out what the, what the issue is. Um, you know, at least it, it's, it's not the biggest of issues, but it's big enough where it took out a lot of my time. But it is what it is, guys, all right? Take care.